Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy DIY easy wall decor that I love so much. Now as you see here, I am using almost all of this stuff here. Some of it I'm not using by choice, but this is what you'll need and I bought the board at a craft store. You can use any board you want as a background, but that's what I got. We're going to start using acrylic white paint or if you have white paint, use it. I'm going to brush it over this whole entire board because it is not white and I want it white because white makes everything pop in color. So just go ahead and paint that all white. After it's done painted white we're going to go ahead and get some gold paint and we're going to paint the whole outline of this board like all the edges gold because it just makes it look really cool and I have a gold white theme going on and I just love gold so much. After that is all painted in, hang it up and let it dry for about 30 to 40 minutes and then it should be done. I got this wooden letter at the craft store and I'm using my gold paint and I'm going to paint over the wooden letters that say love and that's going to make it really shiny and pretty and that's going to be the center of my artwork here. Now after that's painted gold, set that aside and let it dry. And let's bring out your hot glue gun because you need to get that ready because we're going to glue on your succulents. Go ahead and use a hefty amount, meaning a lot, and stick it on your board and hold it still for about a minute straight. And I swear to you, it will not move at all if you hold it down for one minute straight. Now go ahead and do the same thing to your other succulents. Use a hefty, a lot amount of glue and hold it on the board for one minute straight until it cannot move at all and it's stable. And just do this all to all your plants and you can decorate it any way you like or you can just follow along and copy this board. And there they are. They're all stuck onto the board. It looks super, super cool. Now we need to bring out your glue gun again. Let's glue on our love wooden letters right in the center because this is our main centerpiece of the board that will really stand out. So go ahead and place that right in the center and hold it down for like a minute again and then it should be perfect and dry quickly. Go ahead and bring out some tacky glue. If you don't have tacky glue, just use regular glue and paint it on your whole entire board, all over that board. And what we're gonna do is use some moss, fake moss, and we're going to sprinkle the moss over the board, like sprinkle, like if you put sprinkles on a cupcake, very similar to that. And we're gonna sprinkle that on there. Also, this is super helpful and important. Take a paper towel and start pushing it down because it will help it stick extra hard to that glue. So all that moss stays super stable to that glue and gets stuck.
now go ahead and lift your board up and kind of shake it because that way you can see where the spots are naked and that you need to add more glue in and fill them up with some more sprinkled up moss or you can use any type of green you want to stick it on. Now I'm just using the bright green moss and I'm outlining the whole entire Wooden Love letters with it because the bright green one is super popping and eye appealing to your eyes. And we're just using a toothpick to kind of shove them in there and we're putting glue inside the letters so that way you can fill the hole inside up and the outside. It looks really cool like this. It's almost as the moss is growing out of the letters in a way, which makes it have a really cool accent and make it really pop. Now bring that glue gun back out and glue on some white rocks. You can place them wherever you want, but we are putting it right underneath the plant putting like one rock underneath of it to kind of look like stones and cool accent to make it pop, give it that really cool detail. Now go ahead and give it a little shake to make sure you shake off the extra excess moss. And go ahead and hang it wherever you want to hang it. I hung it above my bed because it really needed some green. And look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now you guys know how to make some DIY wall decor. Any questions, leave it below in the comments and I'll be gladly to answer them.